Hey y'all, Chuck here with no time to be set. Hey, it's time for another Friday episode of How To In Thailand. So today I want to talk about the, the king of fruits in Thailand. This is something that you have to experience when coming to Thailand, durian fruit. Durian is a, is a tree that produces a fruit I think it really tries to deter people from actually eating its fruit. So because this fruit looks like a medieval weapon, still it's human nature for us to want to try something that looks forbidden anyway, right? This is a very hard, spiky, shelled fruit. And when it's ripe to eat, it has a very strong, potent smell that really deters most people from even coming close to wanting to eat it. But this fruit has a lot of nutritional values. It is said that the fruit is useful for high blood pressure, fever, skin disease, malaria, jaundice, sexual desire, and a few other things. However, you do not want to mix this with alcohol. You know, there's a lot of compounds. If you mix them, they have different effects. Well, there's a compound inside durian fruit that doesn't allow alcohol to break down properly in your body. So this may cause alcohol poisoning. So you want to be careful. Probably if you're going to have uh, cocktails for dinner, this is something you may want to try at lunchtime. It is said to uh, be very dangerous to eat durian with alcohol. That being said, I've seen plenty of people do it, but uh, they make all kinds of durian stuff. They make dehydrated durian chips. Durian. Tim. <laughs> Uh, they make a durian paste. They have all kinds of stuff, different ways of eating durian. But So you can already get this thing peeled and ready to eat. But if you feel up to a challenge, you can take it home and try to cut it up yourself. I don't recommend it. It's not that easy. <laughs> the best time to eat durian fruit is in April, the hottest month of the year. However, you can buy durian throughout the year in Thailand, so don't worry, you'll get an opportunity to eat it. But the best time is during April, and it usually costs between 80 to 100 baht a kilo. Off season, you could be prepared to pay a little bit more than that. Some of them get up to close to 10 kilo. They get pretty big. When they're ripe, they're gonna be soft and mushy and a very sweet taste like custard, in my experience. <laughs> yeah, it's good. There's flies. Flies like it.
Uh, it comes also in sticky rice. Uh, you can get it as a dessert, sometimes found in the markets with a little bit of sticky rice. Hello, birdie. <laughs> and um, some, some sweet syrup on top of it. Very good. Durian ice cream is very awesome. Get some durian ice cream. Durian ice cream. Smells bad, but tastes like heaven. I promise. Tends to make you a little gassy, so you get to share the smell throughout the day, right? <laughs> The bad thing about durian ice cream, well for Paige anyway, <laughs> is burping durian ice cream. It's not good. And? Sorry. This fruit is forbidden in most places, in most rental cars, in the bus, in the hotels. There's a lot of places that you'll see signs that say no durian because this, the smell likes to hang out for a while, but some people really enjoy the smell. When they smell it, they think of a sweet smell. And some of them, when they smell it, it smells like uh, toxic waste. <laughs> Is getting cold. Oh, yeah. It's very difficult for a lot of people to get through the smell to actually taste it and some people are extremely texture sensitive and have a hard time with the soft texture of the ripe durian. But anyway, durian is a definite fruit, the king of fruits that you must try when coming to Thailand. With the durian, you can get the mango steam. It also has awesome uh, antioxidants in it as well. It's a good combination to eat the durian and the mango steam. In Thai language, durian is tutian. It's spelled basically with a T, not a D. So the proper way to say durian in Thai language is tutian. Tutian is Thai for durian. And mangosteen is mankut. Mankut in Thai language is mangosteen fruit. Anyway guys, gotta try it when you come to Thailand. If you're on the road, just eat it there on the roadside. Don't take it to go. I have brought some home and I had to strap it to my uh, top of my roof, to my vehicle, because uh, even uh, unpeeled, it smells. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next Friday episode of How To In Thailand. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. It doesn't cost you nothing and it only helps the channel grow. So please subscribe, like. I'll see you guys next Friday on How To In Thailand. Bye.